Hey there, it's Big Tony Fred, Nat G coming at you with a little War Robots action and a little Q&A from uh, the viewers out there. They've left, I've, left the, I've asked for some suggestions on topics and we're going to talk about them today. So let's go ahead and talk about, first off, I had a comment from one of my viewers that asked about glitches and, you know, why, why, why and when are these glitches happening and when they're going to get addressed by Pixonic. And specifically, the glitches around the nether zigzagging around, and I'm running the nether right now, this, this little monster. Uh, and then, of course, you're talking the ardent, emu uh, ardent emuji right now. Um, I'm going to be brutally honest with you guys, give you my frank out opinion. None of that is a glitch. It is by intention. Uh, these, I mean, these are meant to be over the top. They are meant to draw attention and get uh, the paying crowd purchasing them, getting them excited and willing to invest. So the Nether is going to be a monster for a while, and so is the Ardent Emuji. Because, you know, people are going to buy, uh, you know, chances to win these things. They're going to go out there and buy uh, their, you know, the tokens to open boxes. Or um, when they come out and you can flat out buy them, people are just going to flat out buy them. Now, when are they going to get addressed? Well, if you look back, we can look back at the uh, the special edition Seraph. You can go back and look at a few other things. The Kepri, the uh, the Eldritch Kepri. You're looking at months, months down the road. Once, once I'll just be brutally honest. When the sales drop, they will get corrected. That's the mo of the game, guys. Ah, I got hammered out right there. Um, that's the mo of the game. That's just the way it is. So one, I would hesitate calling them glitches. That's just like when are they going to be nerfed? That's the question. And it's going, it's going to take a while. Once they're stopped being profitable and they're not making sales on uh, tokens and stuff like that, then, of course, then you're going to be looking at them getting real back to reality. But then we'll have a whole new cycle of new bots to uh, deal with as well in Special Edition land. All right, let's go ahead and keep moving here. Now, uh, also, uh, I've heard, you know, when are hackers getting addressed? Uh, I... From my understanding is it's an ongoing battle, guys. And honestly, there is no end-all, cure-all for it. Uh, this game was never designed to combat hackers. So my best advice is report them. Even though it doesn't seem like there's nothing being done, at least report them when you see them. Uh, and just so that Pixonic can know and identify in the matches where those are happening. And maybe they can start structuring algorithms and coding. They can identify cheats and shut them down, or at least make them not effective. So let's do that. And of course, we got the subtle hackers out right now, which honestly, if you got a powerful enough hanger, you can actually go after subtle hackers and fight them like you would an OP bot. You can take them down. It's the ones that go bonsai crazy. That's a nice rampage right there. Uh, they go absolutely crazy with the over the top hacks, the super flying Arthur, and non stop death farts from them and stuff like that. Those are the ones that are like nearly impossible to shut down as far as in game from your end uh but hopefully at some point that'll get addressed but and no clue as far as timing on that guys but all i can say is just watch and see so that's another thing we've, we've uh, hit on there that came from another comment uh let's go ahead and talk about uh, what is worth buying in the game oh, come on come on i want to get this guy right here i want to get that big old heimdall uh, what's worth buying in the games, guys? I can tell you right now. Uh, there's oh, we did get them. Sweet, we executed them. Uh, there are very few things in the game that I say that are absolutely worth their weight in gold to buy. One of them is premium. Is still you know VIP is still probably the best premium item you can buy. If you're playing a lot, you're going to grind out more silver. You're going to get more benefits from that than anything else. VIP is a very potent tool uh, in your arsenal of things that you might want to invest in. Uh, operations passes also, and I would say not the uh, the one that gives you uh, tokens for the event crate. So honestly, you don't get that many of them in there. You're better off to actually buy them flat out at the end of the month when the special deals are out. But you know, you get the operations pass that has gold, power cells. Uh, you know, it's got multiple benefits in there. You're talking. You're spending, you know, I think like 13 something for the operation pass or something like that. And what you're getting is, you know, a shot at about just a hair over 5,000 gold out of that. 
that's not a bad price considering fact you're getting power cells, you're getting gold, you're getting you're getting some good stuff out of that. So think VIP and then of course think operations pass. Now I do think that the MK2 level one deals. Watch for the because near meta gear drops in those uh, special deals, guys. And they are not super expensive. You can get a relatively decent hanger quickly buying the MK1 level, you know, the MK2 level one bot deals. And they usually have weapons that come with them. Now, I don't buy it when it's just the, we the bot or just a weapon. I wait for when it's a package deal. That way I get uh, the most bang for my buck. So if I buy, say there's a Fenrir and it comes with the Sonic Shocket. Well, I got three weapons and I got an MK2 level one bot. That would have taken me four months to grind in Workshop. And we're gonna talk about Workshop here in a minute. We're gonna take a break from playing and cover Workshop. Workshop is an atrociously long process, but MK2 level one, I was at the MK2 level one deals, definitely worth your time to look at. Uh, I would not sit there and invest in a lot of anything else, guys. That was about all I would spend money on. Now, we will talk about, uh, once we're gonna do the workshop here in a minute, and then when we get into our third match, I'm gonna talk about in-game what is worth spending on. Because uh, so, we already talked about, this is resources that I'm talking about, how to get your bots, how to get your weapons, and then of course, how to get your gold and silver. So we've covered that. VIP, operations pass, and then of course, watch your videos. Watch, watch your commercials, guys. They, if you get a chance to bump up the silver on a match by watching a video, make sure you're doing it. But uh, that's about all I'm going to say to spend on. And of course, the MK21 deals. Okay, let's get this guy a little love right here. We're chewing through these guys. God, getting a lot of nice kills here. Just boom. Oh my gosh, this is such a beast. Now, I'm enjoying this because in the next uh, in the next update, these uh, the Avoras and the Veyron on here are going to get nerfed. They're gonna they're gonna lose a little punch power. They're still gonna be really good, but they're just gonna lose the punch power. Let's go ahead and wait for this guy to drop, or he's gonna get tore up up there. Yeah, <laughs> you can see that harpy dropping on the other side there. He was dropped by that harpy, so let's get rid of him. Boom! Rampage. Nice. We're down to the last bot on this side. Okay, let's. Okay, let's. What do we got? We're, they're all on that far side over there. So we're gonna have to make a leap for it and get over here. Wanna get a shot on them. Okay, they're all kind of clustered down in that scenario. Let's go ahead and reload. That's something I'm terrible at is I always forget to reload. So now I'll get there and smash the button. Oh wait, I'm not firing. Yeah, yeah, that, that's usually one of my downfalls. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and hop in here. Not much left in this match, guys. And yeah, definitely, definitely when I'm done with this match, uh, we're going to hop into the workshop. We're going to talk about workshop a little bit. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get him, let's get him. Oh, he got bumped up, he got bumped up. He's going to land, he's going to land. That's going to make him nice and squishy. He's going to drop behind there. I can jump in a few seconds. No, oh, no, 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 my guys in blue are going after him. Uh, I'm not going to get it. I want to get one more kill. We got more than 10 kills on that one. That was a good one. Alrighty, guys, here we go. 14 kills, 7 beaten caps. I did watch the video to enhance my silver. 5.6 million. And I do have VIP, so that got me 1.1 million silver along with that video watch. So definitely, that was worth it. And there you can see, I just absolutely hammered it. Shout out to F FD Blaze 611 on the other side for a, a 15 and 6, and then I had a 14 and 7. Alrighty, guys, let's hop into uh, the workshop and continue the discussion. Alrighty, guys, little break from the gameplay. We're going to talk about the workshop and what is worth building, what is not worth building, and why it's set up the way it is. Uh, this comes from a comment that came on one of my videos. Wanted to know a little bit about the puzzle pieces and how long it's going to take you to build something. That we take it just one step farther. Let's go ahead and start with what is worth building first. Gold. You want to aim for gold. That is one thing. Any one of the gold bots on here, you can make an argument for if you have the right mindset. It fits your play style. That's the biggest thing. Fit your play style. But I'm going to pick out some of my favorites. Uh, Skyros. That is a little beacon grabbing monster. You see those quite a bit. Built right with the right pilot, right modules, almost indestructible. 
Demeter, one of the best support bots out there. Uh, Mender used to kind of be the beast I'd see all the time. Demeter's kind of filled that role. Harpy, Siren, they've seen their better days. Uh, put the bendy machine guns on there, they're annoying. Revenant was a super tank at one point, not anymore. Now, I would recommend Typhon, but you got to know what you're doing with it. It's got a nice Aegis shield. It's got some nice speed, quad weapons, suppression ability. It's got a lot of bells and whistles to it, but anything that can bust through shields or is fast enough to get up into your face is going to wipe you out. So Typhon, but with a hesitation. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Scorpion, teleport in, attack, teleport out. It's a vicious, vicious little build. Sonic weapons, I'd say yes to a Scorpion, if that's your mindset and your play style, if you like to tear things up. Now, the Ravana, one of the most elegant bots that ever dropped in the game. Pole Pilot, transcendent skills, put phase shift with it, get the right modules for it. It is a dancing little beast. It's, it's not meta, but it's still pretty potent, and it's very, very tanky. It's got a lot of hit points to it, but you got to know how to play it, and I love it with sonic shotguns. Okay, Leech, no, Behemoth, no, Phantom, kind of a beacon rider, but I'm not going to recommend it. One of the best bots you can have in Workshop right now is the Fenrir. If you're a brawler, Fenrir, you want to build it up to MK2 level 12. That's that's your goal with this. You want as much hit points as possible, uh, and you want the Bernadette Wolf Pilot. You have to have that if you want it to be the beast that it is. I used to want run the Wandenson, the Santa Claus Pilot, and he wasn't wasn't bad, but the Bernad the Bernadette Pilot is better. And definitely as a beast. You put uh, harpoons on there. You put the hammer mace on there. You can put the uh, devastator and uh, you know the, the medium and heavy sonic uh, shotguns. Works excellent on that. I see Loki still being run as beacon cappers, but quantum raiders popping up all over. Raven, some people argue for it. They have fun with it. You can with the new pilot. Hellburner, most of these are just, they're really not worth your time, guys. Uh, just... <laughs> They just really aren't. <laughs> uh, the Invader, tanky. I prefer the Fenrir over it. Fenrir's got more firepower. But uh, some people make an argument that they do like the Invader. Now, the Pantheon bots have made a little bit of a bump back. They're not meta guys. They get chewed up, especially by the Harpoon weapons, because those impermeable shields they have, which are awesome, are no match for Harpoons at close range. They just tear them right up. So definitely think Fenrir, Demeter, Skyros, and if you're really, really ambitious, think about the Ravana. Okay, uh, how long is it going to take you to build something, guys? If you have the, the AG to put into it and you're doing the three-day push each time and you're watching all of your advertisements every day to uh, reduce the time, take you just a little bit under a month to build one of these bots. So if you're looking at a six hangers, you're looking at six months of building. And that's not including weapons, guys. So definitely the workshop is a long protracted type deal. It's for building things that you want. And then of course, I'm gonna be just be brutally honest with you. It's honestly cheaper in the long run to look for the MK2 deals and purchase your bots versus grinding in workshop. But if you're gonna grind in workshop, think of those ones. Let's go ahead and talk about weapons just for a minute and then we will hop out of here. There's not much in the weapons category that I'd really endorse. Puncher, close range, yes, long range, no. It's a 500 meter weapon, no good at 500 meters. 200 meters and under, deadly. So I would say Puncher is still okay. Now, Prismas, you see a lot of those on like, you know, on the Behemoth. It's, it's, it's an evil, evil build. So Prisma, yes, if you're a long range sniper, just know someone's gonna hunt you down eventually. Uh, you can make arguments for any one of the gold weapons. The Hornet, not so much. Too long of a reload. Magnetars, quad magnetars on a Kepri aren't bad. They're, they are what I call the poor person's version of the Spear Kepri. You put four of them on a Kepri, it's pretty nasty. Now, these are the weapons that I feel are probably the best for brawlers in the game right now in Workshop. That set right there, I mean, seriously, if you're, <laughs> if you're running an Angler, Say you won one and you run a Havoc and uh, three of the uh, the light versions, The uh, I believe they're called the, uh, what are they? the Scatters. Run three Scatters and a uh, Devastator, you're going to do fantastic with it. But these are definitely the weapons worthwhile. Uh, the rest of them, yeah, I don't get too excited about because they have too long of a reload. Uh, Nucleon, yeah, it's 
they've had their days but they're not the greatest glacier cry all them yeah they're not i wouldn't waste my time same with any one of these others and once you get into the purple weapons uh shredder is one that i think is worth time before them on a blitz uh three of them on your angler along with a, a pulsar at 200 meters you're going to lock things down you're going to have some fun with it but definitely that is that's about all there is in the workshop that's worth building guys so uh if you're looking at a month that's if you have all if you are high enough i'm level 30 in the workshop so i can do all six slots if you have all six slots it's just a general rule of thumb if you do it right it's a month per item so your bot will take a month and then if you're going to build uh say you're building a fen rear month for the fen rear and then you want your devastator and your havocs that's one month a piece on each one of those so you're talking four months to build your fen rear so workshop is not for the week of heart guys and you have to be determined to do it and do not build various different ones don't have like two havocs and a devastator run the full gamut six of one thing plow through it and i would say do weapons first and then bot because you might have something that you already have that you can run the weapons on but and then of course you're going to be talking about resources to level them up so that's what we're looking at in the workshop all right guys let's go ahead and hop back into the gameplay and we'll talk a little bit more about it during gameplay but that was my shot at the workshop all right you guys uh let's go ahead and hop into the last one here and i think this is definitely going to end up being one of my uh podcasts because it's going to be long enough Let's go ahead and drop the Harpoon Monster Nether, and we're going to talk about that in another video, uh, why I really, really do like this bot. Uh, but let's talk about what you should essentially look at investing at in the game. Now, in game, there are several things that you, know, you look at. You look at pilots, you look at modules, you look at drones. And, of course, you've got boosters and stuff like that. I don't even mess with the boosters. I just get what I get out of the leaderboards and stuff like that. I don't even buy them. I do invest in modules. Think amplifiers, immunity, repair, and nuclear, the attack amplifier. Those are the three amplifiers you're gonna look at. And you can, you, of course, you can buy them or you can get them out of the, uh, I believe it is the black market crate openings. And they're right there, look at that. We talked about that. Pantheon bots uh, with the impermeable shields are pretty nifty unless you face off against something with, uh, you know, needles, spears or spears and stakes i mean anything harpoonish is going to destroy them uh but uh definitely think those are your three things right there and you can make an argument for two that uh you know there are some other modules out there people like anti-control which might be interesting uh but if i run one i would just run one of them and uh i honestly look more at these other three as more useful uh definitely those look at your pilots your pilots are definitely worth your investment. Get them up to level four. So you have four good, solid skills. It starts getting super expensive after you get the four skills lined up. I think it's level 40. Level 40 and above gets really expensive. So definitely those are things you want to look at. So that is my advice on what you should be uh, looking at as far as items in the game. Amplifiers on your passive modules. Pilots that are matched to the bot that you're running are really good. And it definitely is worth the time to save up the gold to get the premium pilots. They really do. Now you can get by running a standard pilot and it's a little cheaper, but usually I would just use those as a placeholder to get you by until you get a uh, better pilot out of the box, one of the uh, legendary pilots. And that's all I'm running is legendary pilots now. So definitely, and as far as drones go, I'll probably do an episode on drones, but, uh, of course, the Kestrel is just a monster, but uh, you can look at the Wing. I look at the Armadillo and Paralysis. Those are the three drones I really, really like. Uh, I do run the Reviver on my Fenrir, but for some bizarre reasons. But uh, definitely three drones uh, are worth going after. Now, oh, nice godlike run right there. Uh, but definitely drones are going to be your hardest ones to level up because currency is so scarce on that. But you can definitely get your passive modules much easier now. And... You can get some really good deals in the uh, in in the uh, special deals portion of the game. You can look up uh, special purchases where you can get, you know, keys really really cheap, like fifteen, eighteen, twenty five thousand keys to open up multiple multiple black market one thousand the 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 big crates in the uh, black market before you uh, hit super chest. 
you've got some good stuff in there. That's how you're going to be getting your uh, repair amplifiers is that way. Or waiting for them to pop up on the special deals and just flat out buy them. Uh, you can't grind them. They ain't going to just, uh, I, I don't think they're going to be popping up anywhere in the game purchasable for a while. Now, the nuclear amplifier you can buy. That is right in there. They're 5,000 gold apiece. Definitely worth their weight in gold. Get them and level them up. Definitely worth it. And I got my immunity amplifiers. I got them out of special events grades. But uh, there's, those are really, really hit and miss. And I really, really, really had to spend, you know, like 45, 50,000 tokens in opening chests to get to that stuff. So the immunity amplifier is going to be kind of difficult. So if you can, repair amplifier, nuclear amplifier, and then maybe a last stand. Last stand isn't bad. Uh, it's, it's had its better days but still can be kind of useful. So that that's what I'm suggesting for right now. Alrighty, guys. I think that'll be a wrap-up. It's a nice long episode. We answered a few questions. We had a little fun. We destroyed a few things. 10 kills, 5 beacon caps, 2.8 million. Got 30 gold out of that. And uh, definitely, that was fun. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the tail of the tapes. And then we're out of here. Alrighty, 10 by 5. Put me on top of the heap. And looks like I can't pronounce the other one on the other side. 7 by 1. And we had, looks like, a couple. All right, guys, we're back in the hangar here. Uh, just going to wrap it up for you guys. This was a kind of, yeah, this is definitely going to be big enough. This is going to be my podcast version. Uh, we talked about uh, glitches that aren't really glitches in the game. We've talked about the workshop and what I think is usable and not usable. And uh, we talked about what things in the game I think are worth investing in as far as getting your resources and for equipping your bots in, in the passive module category. So we covered a lot today, guys. Uh, if there's anything else you guys like me to talk about, make sure you put it in the comments down below. That way uh, I can address it in my next podcast or I can uh, you know, address it in one of my regular videos. But definitely, guys, this game is very, very layered and convoluted. It's complex. There's microtransactions. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, best thing I can tell you guys to do is just keep it simple. Focus on one thing at a time. Don't spread yourself out too thin, and you're going to be just fine. <laughs> All right, guys, time to bail out here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for notifications. That way you know when I'm dropping it. All right, guys, stay safe and healthy. Watch out for each other. I'll catch you on the battlefield. <laughs>